Forbes Health reports 34% of people want to lose weight for their 2024 New Year's resolution. Well, now, while that's not necessarily a bad goal, registered dietitian with Bowling Green's dietitian office, Sydney Griffin, says New Year's is prime time for crash diets and unhealthy influencer trends. That's just not realistic. However, we're chronically exposed to it because it's all online and everyone's online. So it can be a real issue and that it's an overexposure, I think, especially at the new year. We definitely see an increase in it. Griffin says these diets may not be effective long term and can lead to disordered eating. Skipping meals regularly, overthinking about only eating healthy foods, that kind of thing. And those things can show up in everyday life with people that had never even thought about having an eating disorder or eating disorder patterns. If you're wanting to lose weight for the New Year's, Griffin recommends trying to add more fruits and veggies to your diet and looking at your eating patterns. The thing about weight loss and nutrition is that it's really complex and there's not really one cookie cutter piece of advice for everyone. Uh, it's kind of about looking inward and seeing where you are, meeting yourself there and setting small goals every day that are sustainable because those Little things every day make a big difference. While the internet is full of weight loss advice, Griffin says to always make sure the information is coming from a vetted source. People like dietitians that have the background and the education to be giving nutrition advice are definitely who I would listen to. Uh, but then also just kind of taking time to think about your own pattern, seeing where there's a place to incorporate more nutrients, seeing where there's a place uh, that you may be not getting enough movement throughout the day. Those types of things are where I would start. And if you believe someone you know is engaging in unhealthy or disordered eating, Griffin says it's important to approach them with love. If you notice that they're not eating enough, if you notice that they're only thinking about food and they're unable to focus, or if they have a real lack of energy and you know that they haven't eaten and those things are happening consistently, that's something to be aware of and monitor. And I think approaching a conversation like that should also be done very carefully and just checking in on people coming from a place of caring is important. Now, for those who may be uncomfortable talking to a dietitian in person, the dietitian's office offers telehealth appointments, and we'll have links for that on our website, wbko.com.